hey guys welcome back to my channel long time huh yeah I know anyway today I'm gonna do a video showing you the difference between a lace closure wig a lace frontal wig and a full lace wig I get those questions so I just decided to make a video to explain um, before we start I want to show you the wig I'm wearing um, I made it myself she's called Nia and she's in my Etsy store it's the default is black but you can request a blonde color for a little more money <laughs> she's 12 inches and 14 inches and um it's a very natural density so it's it's not too full it's not too thick if you like a density that's similar to maybe your natural hair this would be a wig i recommend i'm gonna start with a lace closure wig before i do it's important to just know that these terms are mostly describing the area on the wig on which you can make a part the area the part of the wig that mimics your scalp you know this part right here see it looks just like my scalp so most of these descriptions are just describing that for example a lace closure wig is just describing the closure and the closure measures four by four inches four inches this way and four inches this way so this four inch space is the area of this wig that you can part it is the part of it that looks like your scalp just like this so that's my hand underneath it so if you want to make a part on this wig for example this is this is a middle part if you want to make a part you're limited to this four inch space you can make a part over here you can you can even turn it into a side part so you can part it anywhere but it has to be on this four inch space see that so if you want to make a curved part for example you only you're limited to this four inch space so this is a this is a lace closure wig and the rest of the wig is sewn on a wig cap like that so this is what you have this is this is a lace closure wig and this is what I'm wearing and it is my favorite kind of wig because it is really easy to put on and very easy to take off I'm, I'm gonna come back to the to the advantage of these but let me explain the next one to you the next one is a lace frontal wig like I said it's just describing the part of the wig you can part and a frontal means it occupies the front of your face just think about it that way so the parting space runs from here like your where right right above your ear across your forehead to the other side so it's longer this is a lace frontal wig so the parting space is this long it's usually about 13 inches depending on the supplier but the standard is kind of 13 inches you may find more in this space which is about four inches and this space over here is about maybe an inch or two like I said it varies a lot but this is what you have to work with and these tend to look very natural however they take more time to to apply so this is a lace frontal wig now this is a full lace wig I actually just got it so it's still it's still in the packaging this is a body wave see how gorgeous that is it's so pretty A full lace wig means the whole wig is pretty much made out of that of this lace so everything has been vented to where it looks like your scalp and these tend to be the most expensive ones of course they're more expensive because it takes more time and more work to do it and you can part it anywhere at all you can part it from front to back pretty much the whole wig is going to mimic your scalp these are higher maintenance and um, 
usually a lot of people don't go for these i don't recommend them for beginners but of course you can get one and experiment but this is what a full lace wig looks like so you can part it anywhere front to back side to side whatever wherever you want to make your part so that's a full lace wig so these tend to be one of the most expensive among all of these i have a favorite and my favorite is a lace closure wig because a lace closure wig is just easier to wear it is easy to put on and take off you can change your lace closure wig several times in a day and it doesn't require much time to take it on to put it on and off so i'm going to i'm going to do like a little demo and um well just watch so this is a lace closure wig it has been customized to a middle part so this is how easy it is to take it off Ta -da! just like that and if you want to put it back on it is so easy you simply you simply wear it and everything falls into place There you go so within seconds you can change from one lace closure wig to another lace closure wig it, it is so simple and it like that's how it looks and you can do baby hairs if you want it's totally optional I have baby hairs right here and baby hairs right here it's totally optional you see I don't even lay them but once it is customized in this way you can take it on and off you don't have to do a lot of maintenance on it so that's why I really love lace closure wigs now um, let me do a little demo with with a frontal this is a lace frontal wig as you can see the the parting space or the part of the lace on the wig it runs from here right beside my ear all across to this side of my ear unlike the lace closure where my parting space was just here it was just four inches this one runs across so this is a lace frontal I'm just wearing it I haven't Done the application process there is a whole application process that goes with a lace frontal wig now you would notice that it's kind of puckering up it's not laying against my scalp like it should you see that hole right there so that is why you have to install a lace frontal wig meaning you have to use gel or glue to lay these down so that it doesn't move so when you apply glue or gel, you don't have these anymore. So it pretty much now sticks to your, to your scalp or to your forehead. It sticks like that so that, of course, it's going to look presentable. And um, if it's a windy day, it's not going to fly off. So this is a lace frontal wig. See that? So it has an elastic band too to help hold it down, but ultimately you would need gel or glue to lay down these edges so that they stay in place and stay intact. So there we have it. And some people, this is the kind of wig, if you plan to put your wig in a, in a ponytail, this is the kind of wig you need. So like that. You're going to need gel or glue to apply here so that it lays down and it sticks. I sell these in my Etsy store as well. You can follow the link to check them out. So this is a lace frontal. They're so high maintenance, so that's why I really don't wear them often. It's, it's just too much work. 
because when I'm about to go somewhere, I just want to put on my wig and go. These you have to spend time to install it and put the gel and lay the baby hairs and all that stuff. It's just too much work for me, so I don't wear these often. So if you're buying a, a lace frontal wig, just, uh, just make sure you have a parting space that's reasonable. Like I said, you can part it anywhere. You can make your part here, all across the front. You can part it all across the front. The disadvantage with this one is that the parting space only comes up to here. So if I want to make a line that comes over this way, I need a lace. I need a full lace wig or I need to get a frontal that's really big. If you pull this in a ponytail, you can only expose the front. You cannot expose the back because the back doesn't have lace. If you want lace to where you can put everything up in a ponytail at the top of your head, you're going to need either a full lace wig or a 360 wig. So I'm gonna show you a full day's week next. But here is a full lace wig. And this is the back of it. So it has lace all the way at the back, meaning you can put it at the top of your head in a high ponytail. This one is not customized. So it's going to look like a helmet. <laughs> It's very similar to a frontal, but the difference is that you can you can part it from the front all the way to the back. Remember the frontal, you can part it only from one side across your head to the other side. So a full lace wig has that extra perk to where you can put it up in a high ponytail and you'll be fine. You can part it from the front all the way to the back and it's going to look like your scalp, so that's the advantage of a full lace wig. All right, that's it for this video. I hope I explained to you those differences and I hope you understood. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. I try, I respond to my comments. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is the Queen's Wigs. My other Instagram is Dextro's Ivy. The link to my Etsy store is down below. A website is coming soon. You can follow me or you can add me on Facebook as well, Dextrose Ivy. Um, what else? So let me know if you have questions. Oh